Hi there. Today we're gonna be talking about resource optimization techniques. Two types. The first one is resource leveling, and second is resource smoothing. Now, what is the difference between that? First of all, what is resource optimization? Resource optimization is when I'm creating a schedule. Um, it can happen, big project, it can happen and it has happened to me a whole lot of time when I'm allocating activities to the resources. The resources are either um, working more than eight hours which is not desirable and sometimes they are sitting idle or I kind of you know created activities and allocated resources here and then resources said I am not available on so and so date because then there is a start date and end date so I need to ensure that my resources are working on the allocated activities in a realistic way so I need to optimize my schedule, the project schedule, so that resources are working on a clear task and they are working in a feasible timeline. So there are two ways to do it. The first one is resource leveling. Now, when do I use resource leveling? Um, there are times when the resources are available in limited quantity or they are over allocated or they are not even available so resource leveling is resource limited scheduling when i know that there are this resource probably is not available um, to give you a very simple example i would have customer calls over um, you know video calls with a limited resource which is video call room or war room which has video setup enabled now that war room is always or that conference room is always um, blocked so i just cannot say okay every wednesday i'm gonna have customer calls because i don't know whether that conference room is available or not so what do i do i first check the availability of that war room or conference room and i block that um, conference room first and i and then i schedule the activity that this activity which is you know customer call weekly customer call gonna be done only on fridays because that's when my resource is available so that is resource leveling um, i know my resources are limited and i go ahead and check when are the resources available and i go ahead and change the project activities the start date of start date and end date of the activities based on resource which is available only at that point of time resource smoothing on the other hand is time limited resource scheduling here overall EFs are that i can only do work for eight hours and not more than eight hours obviously you know 40 hours work week um, so I have or some of the resources are allocated to me only 50% of the um, you know 50% allocation that means I cannot use them more than eight more than four hours every day so here the time constraint takes the priority and I adjust I distribute the activities which are allocated to my resources based on the time which within which they are available so i'm going to take an example in the next set of slides so stay tuned so the first one resource leveling um, a very simple example i have to um, i'm working in a construction project and i have to dig hole which requires a drilling machine and this hole number one gonna take 16 hours um, another hole needs to be digged up again 16 hours similar type now it's gonna take what i did was i allocated the activities in parallel for the drilling machine now when i checked with the supplier the supplier said i have drilling machine only one and this drilling machine is not available from your planned date so what do i need to do now to make this schedule realist so what i'll do is i'll change the schedule 
I'll change the schedule based on the availability of the drilling machine. So this is available only from 15 June. So I start, I change the timeline and I start it. Um, and it makes more sense that I use the same drilling machine for the next um, activity. So I change it, I move it to the uh, in sequence. So this is called resource leveling. Let's revisit. What is resource leveling? Start and finish dates are adjusted based on resource constraints. So we, the priorities on the resources can be used when shared or uh, critically required resources are available only at a certain time or in limited quantities or are over allocated. This is resource limited scheduling as I have been saying. Um, let's move to the next one, resource smoothing. What is it? We adjust the activities of a schedule such that the requirement for resources on the project do not exceed predefined resource limit. Um, the time constraint takes priority and it is time limited resource scheduling. What does it mean? I have a resource, let's say John, and this resource is working, um, he's allocated to me only for eight hours or seven hours a day. Now, um, percentage of allocation, right? Let's assume it is 100%. Um, so John works with me for 100% on this project, um, which means he should be working eight hours per day. But his activities, while I was allocating the activities, the activities got allocated in such a way that John end up certain days he's working for more than eight hours and certain days he's not working at all. So when I look at a, res a resource and his predefined limit, these are only this. I should not be giving him more, more hours of work at any point of time. So what I do is I change the allocation or I rather than changing, I would distribute the allocation in such a way that John works typically six hours a day, sometimes maybe less. And this is how his day, you know, new schedule for John looks like smoothened out. So, um, so, so you can see the, you know, this is smoothened out, yeah. So resource optimization, recapping, resource leveling is when the resources are limited in certain, um, there are problems with the availability or they are over allocated. So resource constraint takes more time. The start and end dates are changed based on resource constraints. Um, resource smoothing is, on the other hand, is time limited resource scheduling. We look at the time and we say it should not exceed more than these many hours or, or the percentage of allocation of person. The time constraint takes more time. The activities are distributed so that resource work within the predefined limit. I hope this video has made a difference, helped you understand the difference between resource leveling and resource smoothing. If you have more questions, please write on the comment box and let's do the let's play.